movie, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Try again. It does feel like we're going One down the stairs. Semi unpaved road. <laughs> it's still paved, it's just bumpy, and you guys are freaking out. Hi, I'm recording this at the end of the day. I had a really nice day. I went to this place called Julian, which is in California, and they have like an apple farm. It's it's essentially one of those old timey small towns that are for tourists, and they're really famous for a pie restaurant, and they have a gold mine museum, but my son just is not a big... <laughs> He's just not one of those kids who wants to do a lot of things. Like, he doesn't want to take pictures with Santa. He doesn't want to go to the pumpkin patch for Halloween. He is really fine doing simple things. So as you saw, he had a blast just eating breakfast and playing giant Uno cards. A lot of the stores in the town had like classic toys in the toy shops and he was super jazzed about finding a slinky like the original metal is it made in the usa you know like this type of thing this type of slinky it was it was pretty heavy in the box and he played with it all day. He played with it in the car. And then I found some other toys to gift to other children in my life. And yeah, it was a really nice, simple day. I came home, I rested my back some more. And then after dinner, we watched Elf, which I haven't seen in a long time. But seeing it with fresh eyes and with my kid who was laughing his head off at all of the physical comedy, I mean, I also laughed at all of the physical comedy and just Will Ferrell's absolute delight and commitment to playing that part, <laughs> embodying that character. It is a new classic for a reason. <laughs> oh my God. My vlogmases are like, who's your favorite Nepo baby? Have you heard of this cool Christmas movie called Elf? <laughs> the other thing that I watched recently for the first time is the Hot Ones episode with Jennifer Lawrence that became really viral and I only knew that it was really viral because of the Hot Ones episode with with Bonnie <laughs> and to be honest I only saw a bunch of these Hot Ones episodes because of Paul Meskel <laughs> and my current undying love for that man <laughs> and he was on Hot Ones fairly recently so I, you know I watched his and then I Saw that Bo and Yang did one like on the day that I was watching Paul Meskel's and then Bo and Yang brought up Jennifer Lawrence's Hot Ones. And so that led to this uh, Hot Ones binge on some random day. What was I talking about? Hot Ones. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence elf. <laughs> and so in the Jennifer Lawrence Hot Ones episode, she, <laughs> while under duress of intense spice, had to answer what her favorite Will Ferrell movie is, I think, and she was cry explaining that there are so much more smarter options than Elf, but alas, Elf is her favorite Will Ferrell movie because of how much he just gives his all in that role, and I really felt that while watching Elf today. <laughs> this is this is my brain. I I'm trying to talk about Elf, but no, I had to talk about Hot Ones. <laughs> the Jennifer Lawrence episode was a really good one, though. As is Paul Meskel. Oh, every in, every interview I see with him, he's just so warm and earnest and 
I, I have a thing with noses. I think it's because I grew up with a pretty flat, I mean, when I was a kid, my nose was flatter than it is currently. And as, as you might have, as you might be able to tell from that grandma thinking I'm a grandma story, Koreans can be brutal. <laughs> and so growing up in my Korean family, I would constantly get suggestions to get a rhinoplasty. <laughs> Yes, as a child, as a, you know, like a young teen, which would have been in the late 90s, the 2000s, which is when plastic surgery in South Korea was really taking off. But I would always go, no, thank you. I just don't want it for myself, which is true. And I'm so relieved that I felt that way back then because ever, I mean, please, your body changes with age. Your facial features change with age and my nose changed a lot. It doesn't, I don't feel like it's flat at all now. Oh my God, why am I talking about, <laughs> why am I bringing up nose surgery? Oh my God, am I a uh, scintillating conversationalist? Am I suffering from ADHD? <laughs> Have I already landed straight into dementia? I definitely wouldn't know. Oh my God, what was I, what was I talking about? What was I trying to say? I think I was trying to talk about Paul Meskel. <laughs> And then I totally lost track. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really like Paul Meskel right now. I can't say that his SNL episode was like particularly great, but it was really nice to see how enthusiastic he was to like how much fun he was having while doing it. Oh my god, he can sing? Yeah, I'm really into Paul Meskel right now. <laughs> Um, another celeb crush that I've been having for the past several years now is Harris Dickinson, and I'm so ready for that baby girl movie that he's in with Nicole Kidman that's coming out on Christmas Day. Oh my god, what a gift. Like, he was great in Triangle of Sadness. He was so good in Beach Rats. But not gonna lie, the movie that I was really won over by him is The Kingsman, <laughs> which is a movie that I just find so fun. When I watched that for the first time, I want... <laughs> I rarely do this, but I watched it again, like back to back. That Reese I how do you say his name? Reese Ivans, Ivans, Reese Ivans, playing Rasputin and him doing the Russian dance. That entire scene lives rent free in my mind. You know, only the best, only the classiest of <laughs> the most high quality content lives in here. Oh my god, I'm just trying to say that I had a really nice day <laughs> and a really nice family time with my family, even though it wasn't like, you know, like I didn't go to this very Instagrammy place to do Instagrammy things. You know, like I'm trying to say that I went to a very picturesque place. However, we mostly just walked around and went into stores <laughs> and ate and like that's more than enough for me. I don't need a photo of myself with like falling leaves in the foreground <laughs> I don't know <laughs> like you're you're just not gonna get that kind of footage from me <laughs> like ever and I'm just really happy to see my kid my husband having a really nice day it is a rural part of California which even though I romanticize rural living in another country, I definitely wouldn't choose to live in a rural place in the US, even though I'm sure that in Britain it's very similar. And as a matter of fact, I recently read the book The Countryside by Kryn Fowler. I think it's Dr. Kryn Fowler, or that's one of the key arguments that she makes, that the rural British countryside isn't the Jane Austen, Miss Marple fantasy that we all seem to be falling for and there's plenty of racism in it. Yes, that has been in my mind all day today. That's the only book that I can really bring up today because I, again, did not read anything today, which I am more than fine with. Between Decembering and Vlogmasing, I'm feeling sufficient. I do miss reading though and I also miss journaling. I haven't been journaling for all of December actually because instead of journaling I've been writing Christmas cards and my Christmas cards involve a lot of stamps and some stickers and and that takes priority over writing what I think about every day. <laughs> but I do intend to get 
back to my journal very soon like tomorrow I hope and then I will show more like stamps and tapes and stickers content for that vlogmas and I guess a look into my Hobonichi which I can't wait for <laughs> like I miss it I actually miss it like a person it is a person in my life that I see on a daily basis or at least for the most part <sighs> And I don't know, this is making me wonder if I should name my Hobonichi journal, maybe for 2025. Okay, so <laughs> I think I talked enough for tonight and I hope you had a good day today and I'm looking forward to tomorrow because tomorrow should be like a normal school day. I have more time to myself. I can write in my journal and eat a slice of pie because I bought a whole one to take home with me. <sighs> Yes, tomorrow will be a better day. A good day. Better day. Today was just fine. <laughs> and tomorrow will be good too. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.